I drink the writing on the wall and all I said was you and me You can try to walk fast or slow but it was meant to be, baby Singing gets get to my face, I'm more silly To the end degree of the cherry tree Bright and light, I cannot see the guy that's at me Just like you and me Yui, it's not Yui, it's Louie, and I'm Tamiko. Wow. And that's Chris. Yes. And he's sitting down. Hello, little boy. Okay, boy. now here the butt goes in okay. the face. No butt in the face. Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Chris, and I boy. fear I have married the cat lady. No, you are the cat man because cat as long as we've been together, minus a year, we've had these cats. And when I tell you that I have never seen a man treat his cats more like dogs <laughs> than I've seen this man, like he's trained them. I don't. I mean, I know that cats in the circus get trained, and people that send the cat videos and the cats are like flushing the toilet and stuff like that. These cats run to the door, the garage door, when he comes home and wait for him. They uh will sit outside of the rooms that they're not allowed in because he's told them they can't come in. Specifically, they can't go in the bedrooms. They can't go in the bedrooms. Not all and the And we'll furniture. be in the bedroom or watching TV in one of the rooms, and the cats will sit at the threshold of the door like this. Please right. let me in. No, they look like, I ain't going in there. In. He crazy. And he loves these cats just as much as I do. So if I'm a cat lady, you're a cat man. I am not. Here's what I am not. Uh, a fan of still here cat spit oh honey we got another cat when you rub him the right way he goes into homer simpson mode that sounds kind of like weird drooling. when you rub him the right, right well, you way know what I'm saying, no baby. i don't <laughs> no i don't mean like that no. just rubbing the back of his head and smoky it's smoky we're talking about and he drooled on her and she got all freaked out cat lady here ah cat spit cat drooled on me Love and me. rub rub my face it had cat spit all I deal with. So the cat drooled on my hand, and in all the excitement, I accidentally might have gotten some of the cat spit on his face. And you hey, would think. You just did it again. You oh, would man. think that. Look, here he goes. Oh. oh, baby, stop scaring them. You would think that, like, I don't know, it was acid or poison the way he's carrying it on. Is acid. But anyway, see, you scared him away again. We're here to talk to you tonight about. What we won't talk about relationship because we get a lot of questions about our relationship how we have this chemistry that we have and our silliness and our friendship style and um so we thought we'd just give you give you a little bit we give you a little bit here and there and um here we go so today what i would like to say for the record oh goodness that i don't know that we'll always be giving no 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 stuff. This is just a little tidbit. Okay. Just a little tidbit. So just Because you know, I'm a personal I'm personally I'm a private man. You know what I'm saying? I'm private. Are you finished? Yes. Okay. So what we're gonna talk about today is um, the need for space, for healthy, beautiful, constructive space in a relationship. True we, indeed. We've son. we've True been indeed. together for I guess almost ten years. And I think what? from yeah, ten years, baby. Oh my god. 10 years, y'all. 10 years. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. So uh, I, I know from early on, and I don't think it was anything that we said to each other. I think it just kind of happened that way, where we allow each other space. And that means if I want to run off to the movies by myself or hang out with my girlfriends or go to the spa or whatever, or he wants to hang out with his boys or go for a drive or go play golf, which is a lot of the time, We'll get into that because he can't wait to talk about it. Um, we allow each other that space. And when I say allow, it's not like I'm giving you permission to go. But that, yes, please, do go. Do that for yourself. Because I've always told Chris, and I'm happy to share with you all, that 
I take my role as a kind of co-facilitator of his life really, really, really passionately. And I want him to be happy. And playing golf, here we go, it's coming, makes my husband extremely happy. Here's the thing. How it's happy, not, babe? It's not that it makes me extremely happy. That's a lie. It makes me ecstatic. Okay, see, I was going to say. No, but what she's saying is really important. The, the, the uh, clean and clear and open and honest uh, giving of space is, is invaluable in a relationship. Mainly because, um, you know, you, you'd like to be involved with someone and you guys uh, share common interests and, and goals, or common interests and, and hobbies and mm -hmm. things that, that you enjoy doing. And we have a lot of those. Together. Those mm -hmm. are great. But it's impossible to like everything the other person does. And so it's really important that when the other person, your, your, your partner, enjoys something, that you give them the ability to go mm -hmm. and enjoy that alone. Yes, and like and like we keep. I can't stress enough the word healthy. healthy There's a difference between clean and clear. Honey, of course, go right. ahead and play golf. I, I can't. I'm, I'm glad that you want to do that. Or as opposed to like a lot of my buddies, half of my buddies I play golf with don't you even believe. You going to play golf again? <laughs> they don't even believe I'm. And married. how long are you gonna be gone? <laughs> exactly. Oh no! Because they hear no. that all the time. And whether it's golf or motor motocross bike or yeah. motocross riding or whatever it is. Your hobby, your, your, your thing that you do, the thing that you enjoy doing, you should be able to do without having a, a, a guilty conscience about it. And that is critical, you guys. And it's then critical, you get to come critical. back together and you get to talk about the great time that you had and exactly. what you did and what you discovered. You've gone off and found something, mm -hmm. done something, you've gotten joy out of it, and you get to bring that energy, that joy back. You, let, let me miss you. And That's even the key. though let I me really miss you. don't care at all, about golf. Yeah, she could I really care less. don't care, could not care at less. all about golf. It is impossible for when her to he care less. When he comes home and he's had a great, great game or not so great game, we talk about it and we have that moment of sharing and learning and growing and all of that fun stuff that we do together. She's there for the highs and the lows. Yeah. Most of them are high because the kid is pretty good. <laughs> and I know that all of your buddies, the rogues gallery, his golf buddies, are going to have something to comment about. You want to see that. my form? No, no, no. No, baby. Let me show you right quick. Because it's smooth. You know what I'm saying? It's smooth. I'm here. Ah, look at this. Ah, ah. Woo -hoo! 280 right down the pipe. Are you really ah. doing that right now? Are you really doing that? Wow. That's my husband. So, that's the tip for today. Allow each other space. Good, healthy space, unless you're like all cuddled up like this, and then you don't need any space. Yeah, I man, y'all in my space. Yeah. He loves it. All right, y'all. We'll see you next time on Chris and Tamiko talk about. Stop. <laughs> Bye.